It's being called a medical breakthrough for the future of organ transplantation. Surgeons successfully transplanted a kidney from a pig into a patient who had been declared brain dead. Surgeons say this is the longest a gene edited pig kidney <coughs> has functioned in a human body, and it is not over yet. Researchers are set to track the kidney's performance for a second month. Let's talk more about this now with Fox Medical Team, Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike, good morning. Terrence. I am just stoked about this. Just can you imagine if we if we can genetically modify organs from pigs that would solve a tremendous problem that we have and that we don't have enough organs whether it be kidneys or hearts just think about it it could save thousands and thousands and thousands of lives. So let me tell you what they're doing. All right, so they they have genetically modified uh, these pigs and they harvest the kidneys. And what they do is they made it so that it doesn't cause the human body to have an uh, immediate immune response. So if, if, if I put something in my body mm -hmm. from an animal that, that, you know, a different animal, I'm going to reject it immediately. Right. What they did was they got rid of this protein called alpha-gal. And by doing that and a few other things with the thymus gland from the pig, they put it in uh, this individual who was uh, deemed brain dead. Amazing pioneer brave person that did this who uh, passed away but but is is kept alive mm -hmm. uh, on a ventilator they took his kidneys out and put the pig kidney in on July 14th the kidney is working it's producing urine hmm. and they plan on continuing to watch this kidney function into the end of September it, it, it's a breakthrough it, it's a miracle. It's it really is. Mind-blowing. Critical step, I, I think, here. I want to ask you about something else, too, because uh, just as football season uh, kicks off, there's a new study by a Boston University CTE Center that uh, suggests playing football might increase the risk of developing Parkinson's disease. I found athletes that participated in this who played organized tackle football were at a 61% higher risk of being diagnosed with the disease. Uh, they stress the findings are preliminary. I'd like to get your take on this. Um, uh, what can we make of this? And, and can we learn how to better protect our players from conditions like this? Well, you know, Terrence, you and I have been together a long time. And I think I've heard you say, you know, when is that Dr. Mike going to bring his brain? I brought it. <laughs> Right here, man. <laughs> I got the brain. Abby, normal brain, normal brain. Now, what you do here is this study found that repeated trauma to the head, like in football or boxing or even soccer where you head the ball, can lead to an increased risk, dramatic increased risk, of Parkinson's. Now, you said, how can we prevent it? Well, look. The bottom line is if you're a young person out there, you want to try to avoid full contact football, maybe focus on, t on, on flag football as long as you can. You want to limit the amount of practices that involve full contact. And at a professional and college level, you want, and even high school level, you want these coaches and trainers to try to educate people on the proper techniques of tackling so that you don't eliminate the risk, but you reduce mm -hmm. the risk. And that's where we're at, but it's a dangerous thing. When you have repeated trauma, yeah. this beautiful organ, the brain inside the skull, kind of moves around. And they've done studies of professional football players who have passed on and they've done autopsies. Mm -hmm. Almost all of them have signs of chronic traumatic encephalopathy that that's danger that's damage to the brain and it's a dangerous sport no question about it wow wow uh thanks for bringing the the brain model as well always good to see you my friend uh fantastic information as always for us i love you terrence love you too i man. love you man you to man you, to you bring MVP. it you bring it to the table every Listen, time i you do what it. i can i try my every best time.